What's up, Facebook Live? What's up, everybody all around the world? It's Solace Kingdom there, Kingdom Fourth here, guys. I wanted to come on here, guys. I'm listening to the book of Proverbs. Guys, I just, I love to listen to the Word of God because it helps me. It's like, it's like just getting, it's like free mentorship when I listen to the Word of God. And I put, hey, Natasha, I put the Word of God on my computer, I mean, on my TV, and I just listen to it. And I connect it to, from my YouTube. And I just, I just listen to it all day, guys. But I wanted to talk about entering into the flow. And the reason I, I listen to the Word of God is it's like you're developing yourself. You're spiritually growing. I have a book the Lord led me to create. It's called The Light, Seven Biblical Principles to Achieving Spiritual Growth for Young Adults. I ordered some more copies. Uh, actually, my grandmother sold two copies. I gave her copies and she sold two. So that, that was cool. She was excited. Um, that's really cool. But hey, Felicia. Hey, everybody. But I want to talk about entering into the flow of God, entering into his flow, guys. The only reason that you're not in his divine flow is because either you've been disobedient. That, that's, that's really it. That's the only reason that you're not in his divine flow. It says right here in John 14, 6, it says, Jesus told him, I am the way, the truth and the life. <laughs> no man can come to the father except through Jesus Christ. So, guys, there's a stream of flow for you, a, a divine flow for you to be in where everything will. It's not going to be perfect, but I'm telling you, you're going to be happy. You're going to be grateful to get up in the morning. You're going to be thankful. You're going to be doing what it is that you really love. You're going to be walking in your purpose. And, and one of my goals in life is to help people, one million people. My eyes, Solace King of have impacted one million people life, lives by, by helping them walk in their God-given purpose. And the, you can never walk in your God-given purpose unless you're following Christ, unless you're saved. I'm going to give it to you straight up. Before I wasn't saved, I wasn't walking in my purpose. I was sad, right? I was trying to figure things out. But now, since I came in Christ, since I got baptized, since I got filled with the Holy Spirit, right? Right? Since I received Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior, he's been showing me. He reveals to me secrets. He reveals secrets unto his servants, right? He reveals secrets unto those who serve him, right? So I, I've been serving him ever since I started serving him with all my life and surrendering everything to him. He started unleashing to me all my purpose. Once I surrendered my life to him and said, Lord, what am I really here for? He told me to go get baptized, right? And at that time, I always tell it, I was doing, I was doing music, but I was doing R&B music, right? And that's not what the Lord wanted me to do. He wanted me to do gospel music. He wanted me to produce gospel music. And he told me that he's going to bring me before great men when I follow him. And he hasn't lied. I've been meeting great gospel and Christian contemporary artists who I know personally. But guys, my goal in life is to help other people get into their purpose. Right? The reason you're here on the earth is to complete a mission. You have a mission, a calling over your life that God has for you. But you can never accomplish that. Without being in Christ. When you be, this is for me. This is what happened to me. The verse is true. When you get in Christ, you become a new creature. When I came to Christ, everybody around my family was like, what's going on with Silas? He's different. He's playing different music. He's speaking in tongues. He's prophesying. He's speaking different. He's he, even my friends that I haven't seen in years. They saw me and they said, man, it looks, something looks different about you. Because when you become in Christ, the glory, when, when you're in his word, you become his word. You hear me? I'm, I'm playing the Bible on purpose because I want to become just like Jesus. And when I listen to the book of Proverbs, when I listen to his word, my faith is growing. And, and that's why God told me to name the book that he told me to create, The Light, Seven Biblical Principles to Achieving Spiritual Growth for Young Adults. That, he told me to name it Spiritual Growth because he... He saw that I was growing spiritually. And since the book is called, it says spiritual growth. Guess what I got to do? If I'm going to talk about something, I got to do it. So every day I'm doing my best to grow myself spiritually. You know, I'm praising him. I'm worshiping him. I'm asking him, Lord, when do you want me to fast? What, what do you want me to do? I'm doing his will, not my own. You want to do the Lord's will. And the only way you're going to tap into that divine flow to where everything is going to work. I'm telling you to where 
even when things don't work together for what you really want it to happen, it's still going to work because it says all things work together. So even the things that go bad to you, it's still good to God because he said all things work together for the good, for them that love God and are called according to his purpose for them. Right. So you can never be out of sync when you're following Christ. So this whole message is about getting in the flow of God, but you cannot get into your divine purpose purpose if you're not saved. I'm going to be honest with you. I wasn't saved and I wasn't in my right. I wasn't in my right mind. I wasn't in my right purpose. I wasn't doing what God told me to do. Right. I was using my gift, but I wasn't using it the right way. Did you know that your gift, God put a gift on everybody. That's why you can see somebody succeed. That's not following Christ with their gift. God gifted them, but they using it for the wrong reason. He doesn't take away our gifts. Right. He gives us gifts. He gives us calling. He gives us a calling. Right. Without repentance, he does not take away that gift. That's why you can have evil people, people that don't serve him succeed. Right. And you can have people who do serve him succeed, guys. But the only difference is, is that the person that serves him is going to heaven. The purpose, the person that serves him is doing the purpose of God. The, per the person who serves him. Their wealth that the Lord gives them is for them. It's not for the wicked because they're the, the wealth of the wicked is laid up for the righteous. Right. So when you're serving the enemy, you're working for the righteous. So that's why I always say I say I have many employees until they repent. It's just like me. I was the righteous employees. Because the wealth of the wicked is laid up for the just. So the wicked think that their money is their money. But no, it's, it's the righteous. They, they put their trust in chasing money. They put their trust in a thing instead of putting their trust in the king of kings, the Lord of lords. Right? In God. All your trust. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not to your understanding. That's why I love the book of Proverbs. My mom told me to listen to this a couple years ago. She said, at the beginning of the month, read the book of Proverbs one chapter a day. I did it. I obeyed my mom. I did it. I didn't want to do it. I'm going to be honest. I didn't want to read it. But I did it. And when I did that, my whole mind shifted. I started to think different. I got wisdom. The Lord said, happy is the man that finds wisdom, right? The man who gains understanding. If you want to be more successful in life, you need to get more wisdom, more understanding. But it all starts with getting in the word of God. God created everything. Whatever it is that you're working towards, the Holy Spirit can reveal to you secrets about that and show you how to do that more than a, a mentor. Because he's the first mentor you need to have. Jesus, you need to come to him. You got his number. You can call him anytime. He's always up. He's alert and active. He's watching over his word to perform it. You can talk to Jesus 24 seven. You can tell him about your problems. You can tell him about things you can't tell other people. You can tell him all things. And guess what? He won't judge you. The only thing Jesus is going to do is he's going to love you. And he's going to say, my son, I forgive you. Jesus, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The, the man, right, that came to the earth, the son of God, he came to the earth, he died on the cross, he saved everybody. Everybody in the world is saved, but only few receive it. Did you know that? Every one of, if you're not saved right now, it's because you didn't receive it. Jesus didn't deny you, you denied him. He already accepted you, but you got to accept him now. I'm, I'm being honest with you, guys, I was not following Christ. And then the Lord spoke to me because it got so desperate in my life to where I was so sad and I felt purposeless. I said, Lord, what do I have to do? And he said, go get baptized. And when he told me to go get baptized, I said, yes, Lord, you're going to if you're not saved, eventually you're going to get to a desperate point in your life to where there's nothing else for you to do. But go and get saved and your whole life is going to be changed completely. 360 degrees. When people see you and they, they see you, they're not going to recognize who you are. They're going to be like, huh? They were like, what? Sky, who is that? What? Man, they, wow. That's what God does. They're going to be like, glory, man. 
glory. Wow. What is that on your face? Your whole face going to look different. Your whole posture. Guys, you're going to be made in his image and likeness. That's how you're supposed to be. You're supposed to be talking like Jesus, walking like Jesus, treating other people like him to your best ability. The, the Lord knows that nobody on here is perfect. But this is what I love about God. He's the great redeemer. If you mess up, you can confess your sins. You can say, Lord, forgive me. Forgive me for looking at that girl, right? Forgive me for messing up, Lord. Forgive me for smoking, Lord. I, I, I surrender all to you. I want to do your will. Forgive me for doing this, for, for not seeking you first, for not praying to you like I need to. Forgive me, Lord, for messing up. Forgive me for lying. Forgive me for stealing. And guess what? He's going to say, my son, my daughter, I will remember your sins no more. That's the, that's the kind of God we serve. He just wants you to man up, woman up. It's, and say, Lord, forgive me. That's all he wants. He wants to know that he can trust you. He wants to know that you, that he can trust you, that you have the right heart. All right? So, guys, you got to learn how to get into the divine flow with Christ. And it all starts. This whole message is about you need to receive. If you haven't received the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. This was my story. When I received the Lord Jesus Christ, man, I'm, I'm so glad I did. My life is way better, way better, way, way better. My mind is way better. And guess what? Even the pe I made my parents so happy, right? That's what I wanted to do. I wanted to make my parents proud. I wanted to make my grandma proud. I wanted to make other people, when they see me, I, want, I wanted them to be inspired by me, right? But you can't inspire nobody doing wrong. No, you can't. You can't. No. That's, that's fake. That's fake advertisement. That's fake, fake inspiration. You got to have Christ in you to really impact somebody's life. Because when you get Christ in you, you're really going to be walking in your purpose. Then you can really, I'm telling you, money is, money can't, just because you got more money, that don't mean nothing. Outside, outside things cannot change you. It's what's inside. That changes a person. It's in here. Guys, I remember I used to get so angry when I was younger. But when I got in the word of God, the word of God has helped me to become so much positive. He's rooted out that angerness. And he's continually to get me to become more positive every day. Now, guys, do, do I get upset sometimes? Yes, I do. I, I'm human. I go through things. I'm not perfect. I'm not trying to come on here and be perfect. But my purpose of talking on here is to let you know that when you get in Christ, you're going to become a new creature. You're going to enter into this divine flow. You're going to want to change. I, I said, Lord, I don't want to get angry anymore. I don't want to let little things bother me anymore. And guess what? He helped me to manage that. He helped me to get rid of that. When you surrender to the Lord, he's going to take it out of you. I, say, I tell the Lord, I say, Lord, I want to honor my parents. When I mess up, I say, Lord, forgive me. I go to my parents. If I dishonor them, I say, forgive me. That's when you, this is when you know you really changed. When you can forgive. When you can say, Lord, forgive me. When you can tell other people forgive. When you can learn how to forgive, that's when you really grew up. Because you're going to make mistakes in life. Don't think just because you come in Christ, everything's going to be perfect. It's not. But your heart, your attitude towards life, towards people is going to be changed. To where you can actually forgive. And that's what the whole message of Jesus was. It's about forgiving. Forgiving, right? Jesus, he forgave us for, for sinning. God forgave us for being sinners. He said, I forgive you. Just say it. Just admit what you did and, and it's gone. Bye. I just want you to tell me. Just humble yourself. Pray to me. Seek my face. Turn from your wicked ways. And I, I will hear from heaven. I will forgive your sins. I will restore your land if you humble yourself. If you could come to me boldly, just come. I'm right here. You don't have to hide from me. You can't hide from me. You think you're hiding, but you can't hide from God. He sees everything. He's looking to and fro. He, did you know that the Lord is looking to and fro? He's looking to whom he wants to show himself mighty on. He's looking for you. 
There's some people on here, you're prayer warriors. You worship God. He's watching you. Don't think that you're praising your worship and your tears. He sees it all. He sees every seed that you're sowing into the kingdom. He sees your tithes. He sees your offering. And he wants you to know that he's well pleased with you. Good and faithful servant. So guys, this whole message is about walking. If you want to walk in, in your purpose, that's what the Lord has me here for. To help other people walk in their purpose. Because I'm walking in my purpose. And if you're not in your purpose and you don't you don't know if you are or you don't feel like you are, ask God, say, Lord, what is my purpose? And I want you to begin to speak that you are walking in your purpose because death and life is in our tongue. So you can literally speak. I am saved. Even if you're not saved, you're going to begin to start doing things to get saved. You're going to begin to go to church. You're going to begin to confess that Jesus is Lord and you're going to begin to believe on the Lord Jesus. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you shall be saved. You and your whole household. You're going to ask him for forgiveness. But it's up to you. Do you want to enter into the Lord's divine flow? Do you want to be in his perfect will? The steps of a good man, not a bad man. The steps of a good man, a man who is saved, a man who is following Christ, a man who is trying, are you, I'm, I, my question to you, are you trying to live like Jesus? Are you even trying? Or are you making excuses? Are you, are, are, are you reaching, are you pressing towards the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus? What are you moving towards? So my question for you today is this, the question I asked myself a couple years ago, guys, do you want change? Do you really want to walk in your purpose? Do you really want to live in your God given purpose? Because I know that was my, I wanted to do it so bad. And I didn't realize it all, it was just one thing I was missing. I was missing Jesus. He, and, he wasn't missing me. He saw, I mean, he saw me. He was with me. He saved me a couple times. He saved me a lot of times. He woke me up every day. But he was waiting on me to see that he was right there. That he, that he, was, waiting, he was waiting on me to say, I accept you as, you as my Lord. He was waiting on me. Now, guys, I always talked about Jesus. I always had Bible, not always had Bible verses everywhere, but I had, you know, a few words on my wall. You know, about God, had my Bible, but I didn't read it that much. But I wanted to walk in my purpose. And when you get a hunger to walk in your purpose, those who hunger and thirst after righteousness shall be filled. Holy Spirit, thank you for that word. Thank you for that word. Thank you for telling me to go get baptized. Since I got baptized, it was like when I, when I, after I received the Lord, man, I felt, I felt so confident about my future. I looked at my eyes in the mirror and I said, who is this? This ain't solace. This man, that 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 person right there, that's a new person. Because you can tell you can tell where the person is going by looking in their eyes. You can discern the person by by looking in their eyes. You can tell if they're really following Christ or not. Hey, I'm Bridget. But guys, the whole purpose of this is I want you to follow Christ. If you really, if it is up to you, death and life is in your tongue. You have the option today to choose life or death. If you really want to walk in your purpose and, and be happy, happy is the man who obeys the Lord and live by his commands. If you really want to be obedient to the Lord, you really, truly, you've been saying you want to follow him. Guys, give your life to Jesus Christ. It was the best thing I did. The best thing I did. The best thing I ever did. I'm so glad he came to seek and save the lost. Guys, my whole life has, has been turned around 360 degrees. It's every day since I gave my life to him, it seems like my life is just, it seems like I'm growing more and more every day. It, it, it's so much better. Now, now, no, it's not perfect. No, I don't think nobody's life is perfect. But guys, I found how to make, I found how to be happy even when things don't work for my good to where I want it to be. 
Because the Lord said all things work together for the good. I found, I found my happiness in the Lord. And that's what I think everybody needs. I think you need to be happy first inside before the happiness comes outside. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in this world. You can't find happiness in the world. You find your happiness inside of you, in God, in Christ. He said, find your happiness in me and I'll give you your heart's desires. Basically, that's saying, take the light in the Lord and he'll give you your heart's desires. Find your happiness in Jesus. Get in the word. Get in the word of God. Start reading the word for your job. See how you can improve your life, how you can improve your finances, how you can improve your health. Go search up Bible verses. Connect the Bible to your lifestyle. And watch the Bible, watch the word of God transform your lifestyle. Right? Look, I can't change the word. Right? I can't change the word of God. But the word of God can change me. Right? Right? I can't change. You can't just change your circumstances. Right? By, by just thinking about it. You, you got to do something about it. And what I, what I decided to do is I decided to go receive Jesus Christ. And when I did that, he renewed my thinking. He renewed my mind. I didn't know that I was supposed to be this blessed. I'm supposed to be the lender. I'm supposed to be confident in God. I'm supposed to be bold and courageous. I'm supposed to have all power over the enemy. I'm supposed to win. I'm supposed to be victorious. I'm supposed to be happy. God never said, if you follow me, you'll be sad. Or No, he said, if you be obedient to me, you'll be happy. Now, you'll go through trials. You'll go through tribulation. You're in life. In life, there's going to be problems. But that does not mean that you have to let those circumstances steal your joy forever. Now, understand if something major happens and, and you're sad, you're defeated for, you know, you feel defeated for, for a little. But, but what you got to do is you got to know that you're an overcomer. You're more than a conqueror. You got to know that Jesus Christ. And that's why the Lord wants us to read the Bible. Because when we do feel sad, when we do feel depressed, we got to call on the name of Jesus. We got to get in his word and realize how powerful the word can re renew us and strengthen us. Right? So, guys, I just want you, man, if you have not given your life to Christ, do that. Read Romans 10, 9. Read Romans 10, 9, guys. Right? Read it. Read it. It's about Jesus saving you, guys. What you got to do to be saved. If you want to be saved, you got to... It's as simple... I always say it. It's as simple as A, B, C. A, you got to admit that you were a sinner and you were serving Satan. And now you want to serve Jesus Christ. That's humbling yourself. You unwrap in the gift now so you can so you can receive it. That's the first step. B, you got to be bold enough to believe that Jesus Christ is Lord and Savior and that he's the son of God and that God sent his son to the world. He died, was dead for three days. And then God resurrected Christ on the third day to save us. To forgive us so we can go to heaven when we leave the earth. But not only so we can go to heaven when we leave the earth. So we can walk in our purpose and live life more abundantly on the earth. He said, let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Why you think we here? You think we here to just be here? We're here for a purpose. We are here for a purpose. The enemy does not want you to know that you have a purpose. He wants you. If I ask you right now, what is your purpose? What would you say? What is your purpose? If you're bold enough, right? You're watching and you want to type it. You don't have to type your purpose down there. I'm going to type my purpose right now. I'm going to type my purpose on this earth right here, right now. And I want you to type your purpose if you're bold enough. And I'm about to wrap this up. I want you to type it. Because it's people that's going to watch this video and they need to be inspired by other people who are following Christ. So I'm typing it right now.
You heard that? When a, when a man's ways please the Lord, he make even his enemies to be at peace with him. You got to walk in Christ, guys. That's the only person you got to please is Jesus. Almost done. I, Silas King IV, have impacted. You see, I spoke it as if it's already done, because it is. This ain't my vision, it's God's vision for my life. What, what is your, what, is, what did God tell you? Be bold, tell people. Go, go for it. Stop being scary. I used to be fearful to tell people my dreams. But when I was younger, I used to be expressive. I'm sure you was too, you used to tell everybody you're going to be the greatest person in the world. You're going to be this. You're going to do this. You're going to own a hundred. I know, I know my, my, my nephew, t he told, I said, what do you want, you know, for Christmas, right? Baby, what do you want? What do you want for a gift? Really? I just like, I like giving gifts. All right. He said he wanted a horse. No, no. He said he wanted a pet cow. Right. And I laughed for a second and then I thought about it. I said, what? What makes you think that big? And I started to think, God. He can get a pet. He can have his own farm if he wants. He can own a huge farm. He can have cows. If that's what he really wants. I stopped laughing. And the Lord spoke to me and said, you got to get that type of faith. This boy said he wanted a cow. You got to think big, right? You got to think big. For what it is that you really want. So I, Silas King IV, have impacted one million people. By helping them walk in their God-given purpose in life by following, I mean, uh, in life, by overcoming all their fears. By overcoming all their fears by following Jesus. That, that's all I want to do. And whether, whether that happens through these videos, whether it happens through somebody meeting me out, out, offline, online, whether it's through my business opportunities, whether it's through ministry, whether it's through my book, that God let me create the Lord's book. It's not my book. It's his book. Whether it's through whatever God uses me for. That's that's the purpose for everything I do. Whether it's through music. Whatever. Clothes. Whatever. Whatever he uses me for. Is to get people to be inspired. To go follow their purpose. To walk in their God given purpose in life. And overcome the fear. The fear that the enemy wants you to have. From that purpose. He does not want you to believe you can accomplish it. He wants you to doubt that God is even with you. He wants you to be in fear mode. But guys, I'm here to resurrect the faith in you. Let there be faith. Let there be faith. Let there be believing. I'm a believer and not a doubter. I'm the head and not the tail. I'm above only. I can never be beneath. I am wise. I am wisdom. I am understanding. I am insight. I am positive energy. I am saved by Jesus Christ. I am my steps are ordered by Jesus. Jesus is on this video. He's ministering to millions of people through me. The Holy Spirit is speaking through me to other people. And when they hear, they know it's him and not me. When people see me, they see the Lord. When people hear me, they hear the Lord. You got to start confessing what you want. Because you can't do none of this. Without Christ, you got to be saved. And that's what this whole thing is about, guys. And I know I talked about A, B, and then C, and being saved. I forgot to get on that. C is you got to confess with your mouth boldly. You got to say that Jesus is, Lord. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is my Lord and Savior. He died for my sins, Silas King of War. He saved me, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You got to be bold enough to say that. You should be. There's nothing to be ashamed of. He said, my people should never be ashamed. Guys, I'm going to let you know something now. I'm about to get off here. If you do not have money, don't let not having money stop you from serving God. When you serve God, he's going to get you into your purpose to where the money is not going to be an issue. 
Don't even worry about that. Focus on what is my purpose. That's what you need to focus on. Because first, we want to get you happy. You're not going to be happy just getting money. No, you need to get into your purpose. And when you get in your purpose and then the money comes, that's real happiness, guys. When you're doing what the Lord tells you to do and you're happy, even without money. How many of you right now can do what it is that produces you money for free? Would you? Would you? Would you do it for free? I know I would. I would help somebody become an entrepreneur for free. I actually, I do. I tell people about entrepreneurship. I tell them that they can do it. Even if they don't do what I do. I even mentor and coach them if they want. Right? I, I'm doing these videos. I don't want you to pay me. You can sow a seed into my life if you're led to. More fruit will abound to, abound to your account. If God leads you to do that, that's what it's for. For you to be blessed. Right? For you to be blessed in return for being a blessing to someone else. I love to sow seeds. I got my hair cut today. Um, I got a new barber. I went into a barber shop. I was asking God for a new barber. And guess what? The owner cut my hair. And I didn't know it was the owner. We about to leave. I see the newspaper. My mom picked up the newspaper. And the owner of the barber shop in the newspaper with his whole family. And we exchanged numbers and all that. But that's just God leading me. Right? And that's the same with you. He's going to lead you to the right people to connect you with. But guys, you got to be positive. You got to follow Christ. And, and everything that I'm talking about right here, guys. If you want to get into the divine flow, you want God to start producing through you, you got to be saved. So what must I do to be saved? Watch this over again. ABC, admit your sins, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ that he died for three days and God resurrected him to forgive us of our sins. Right. And now we, we saved, right? You saved. believe. You got to believe and then see, confess with your mouth. De de declare openly, declare openly your faith. Jesus is Lord. Say it. Jesus is Lord. Lord of Lords, King of Kings. Gotcha. But guys, I love you. God bless. Take care. Have an outstanding day. Later.